Tonight, a warning about potential problems people could face when PG&E turns the lights back on. So what's going on? CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is live in Granite Bay with what experts say you need to know to protect your property, Rachel. That's right. The owner of this home has seen thousands of dollars in damages after one of the last PG&E outage events, and it all could have been avoided if you knew to do one thing differently. What PG&E is doing now is they're playing God. 49er Jack, as he likes to be called, says restoring power after PG&E outages has cost him thousands. And I saw smoke. And this whole thing caught on fire. He showed us a gate motor and other household items that were damaged when power was restored after the first outage two weeks ago. My dishwasher just had to get repaired. Blew out my microwave. That's 500 bucks. My fans upstairs. Nothing works. Electricians are working overtime, responding to calls. Aubrey Mackey works with wiring integrity. As soon as power hits, it's um, it just kind of shoots electricity throughout that system. So we asked, how can you protect yourself before power is restored? We don't advise you turn off the main breaker into your house, which is the one that's going to have the biggest number, or say service on off. You don't want to touch that one. You want to turn off all of the smaller, what we call branch circuits. And surge protectors work, but you'll need more than one. You would need a surge protector at the panel, and then you would need surge protectors behind each of your major appliances. 49er Jack is planning for the future, but not having a lot of luck. I've been trying for two to three weeks to get a reasonable generator to get a whole house, 20, 25,000 bucks. Back out here live, electricians say they're installing transfer switches, and what those do is that they take that power from the generator right here to the panel, so PG&E is not powering that panel. Also, the easiest thing you can do before power is restored is just simply unplug all of your appliances. That's some really good tips yeah. there. A lot of people just don't think about this. Stuff. There's so many so layers good. to this power shutoff. I guess the yeah. silver lining is when we have an earthquake or something like that, at least we'll be uh, prepared. Be yeah. yeah. Rachel, thanks.